Hi. Um, I think we're ready to get started with the uh, analysis of our seed germination data. So if you haven't got the seed germination data from the website, go ahead and do that while I'm giving you a brief introduction to Excel. Um, you'll need the data analysis tool pack installed in Excel, and I'm using version 2007, but if you're using a previous version, you can consult Excel's help and it will tell you how to load the add-in and you can type for data analysis tool pack PAK and the help will tell you how to load the tool pack so we'll click and you can see that it's just a quick five steps and it doesn't take much to get this tool pack installed and if you need a statistical feature from Excel in the future you'll be glad that you um, loaded it now so what we want to do is uh, find where that tool pack loaded and in 2007 it'll be on the data tab so here's the data analysis tool pack and I think we're ready to load our data and run the one way ANOVA so uh, here's what the data looks like if you're following along in Excel at where you are then this is how it's organized and the tubes for each chamber are listed in the first column the 26 degree C chamber data is listed in column B and the 15 degree C chamber data is listed in column C. The blanks in the columns are seeds that did not germinate and we don't want the ANOVA to include data that's not there. So if we thought that the seed might germinate at 10 days or beyond 10 days, by putting that in there even though the seed didn't germinate, then we're uh, going to get incorrect values for um, the analysis or the uh, ANOVA. So we'll leave those blank so that Excel doesn't include those in the analysis. So to get started, click the data analysis button. We're looking for the single factor ANOVA. Our single factor is temperature. We're testing the effect of temperature on germination rates. Click OK. Our input range is the data itself, not including the tubes. This, if you were to graph this, this would be on your x-axis and this data would be on your y-axis or your dependent axis. So uh, Excel has filled this range in for us, but if you needed to go to find that range again, you can click on the range button and simply click, hold, and drag to define that range. And then click the uh, range button again. Our data is grouped in columns, so we'll make sure that the columns button is selected. We do have labels in the first row, so make sure this checkbox is set. And our alpha value by convention is going to be 0 0.05. So we want, we're looking for our p-value to be greater than, less than, or equal to this particular value of 0 0.05. Remember, if the p-value ends up being less than 0 0.05, we have greater confidence that temperature does have an effect on germination rates. And if it's, if it's greater than 0 0.05, then our confidence uh, decreases. And our output options choose um, new worksheet. So we just want to insert it in this workbook, but in a new sheet. And Excel will take care of that for us. So when you're ready, click OK, and the ANOVA will run automatically. So the data is kind of scrunched up in the columns. One way to fix that is to choose the button to the left of A and on top of 1. That's the Select All button, and all the columns and all the cells will be selected in this workbook. And then we can click between a couple of columns, like between D and E, or between C and D, or, or whichever you choose, when you get the double-headed arrow, and that will auto-size those columns for you, so that now we can see what's going on. The last thing we want to do is fix the p-value so that it's just in standard number format. So clicking the p-value cell, and then setting the number format to uh, just numbers and we'll need to increase the decimal places so that we can see where that p-value actually lies and in this case it's uh, far less than 0.05 so here's a summary of our data how many uh, how many points were in each column or how many data points were in each column a sum of those data points an average of those data points and then the variance so our p-value is far less than 0 0.05 and that gives us a great deal of confidence that temperature does have an effect on the rate of germination for these particular seeds